Welcome back everyone. We're here for another video. We're going to do a, an unboxing. I've not done an unboxing in a very long time. I have not bought a reseller lot or a jewelry lot or anything like that, but I saw this opportunity at an auction and I decided to go with it. So we'll see what's in it. It's not just jewelry, I believe, but there was some interesting jewelry in it. So we're going to look and see, hoping that my expectations are not only met, but exceeded. We shall see. Yeah, I know it. I'm not the best at opening boxes. All right, here we go. A little nice bubble wrap, so that's good. If you're new to the channel, please know that we love jewelry here. We hunt for it. We go to thrift stores. We go to garage sales, estate sales. Always on the hunt for treasures to resell, to keep, and to love. And I've definitely found a lot of treasure, so come along with me on this wonderful ride. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, let's get started on what we bought. Well, it looks like some careful packaging. Yeah, we did find, a, we did buy a couple of sunglasses. Ooh, these are pretty. I love aviators. These are pretty. I don't even wear sunglasses very much, but I thought these were fantastic. And uh, they have like a bamboo. I have some amazing sunglasses, and uh, really the only ones I wear all the time are my Versace 90s Marvel, <laughs> but I just, I don't wear sunglasses that much, just when I'm driving, but I thought these were cool, and I could stick them up in my auction or something if someone wants them. Those are beautiful, though, definitely beyond expectations on the glasses. Beautiful rose color rose gold color and it was also a pair that were tortoise shell that i liked okay and these are nice too look at these very blingy what a cute color another wonderful aviator style i need to get some more prescription glasses in my aviator style i had some a couple of years ago and they broke on me i really need to reorder them i love the aviator and there should be one more. Yes, the Mickey. <laughs> Mickey Mouse sunglasses. These are super cute. These are my daughter's style. My eldest daughter loves this design of glass shades. These kind of Jackie O designs. Those are beautiful. All right, let's see. Heavy. Again, I know there was not a whole lot of valuable, valuable jewelry, but there was, because uh, she was showing us everything that she was putting in there, and there were a couple of things that I wanted to get my hands on, so let's get started. Okay, these were one. <laughs> the Nightmare Before Christmas earrings. These are super cute, and my daughters will love those, so I definitely wanted these. They're brand new. It looks like they're made out of foam. They're acrylic and they broke. <laughs> they broke. Oh, what a bummer. Do they snap in? I think they can be snapped back in. Oh, look, it has like a rubber band. Oh, what a bummer. All right, so that's awful, but I think I can glue them back. It looks like they're held together with a rubber band. It's really strange. I guess they're supposed to articulate together. That's okay. There was another pair of Halloween theme that I liked as well. Oh my gosh, look at this ring. This is another thing I thought was really cool. Look, how am I gonna put that? It's huge. <laughs> it, I don't think it'll fit me, but look at that. That is just super cool. I think it's silver tone. That is really pretty. Wow. That one's very nice. And there, here's the other ring that I really liked. This is such a beautiful ring. Wow. It looks like a real sapphire. It is awesome. Let me see if it's signed or anything. Looks like it's silver tone, but look at that amazing color. If only all sapphires were this color, right? <laughs> Even genuine sapphires don't always get that pretty color. That's what drives up the value, the color, the clarity, and the carrot. No marking, I guess it's just silver tone. It's another big one though. So it's too big for me, but wow, is that gorgeous. Yeah, it's big as well. Oh, that would be so beautiful on a ring finger. 
Look at that. I think it's about a 10. That is beautiful. Those are very likely um, very good crystals. Very happy with that one. Oh, yeah, I saw these two. These are really pretty. Little fashion earrings. I like the colors in those. Very nice. This looks like maybe Claire's or something. They're orange. It's my new favorite thing. Oh, this is another thing I wanted was this little... Oh, I thought it was a barrette. <laughs> it's some kind of napkin ring. I don't know why I thought it was a barrette. Oh, well, pay attention next time, Thelma. This is another thing I wanted, but, uh, man, maybe I can make it into a barrette. It's so cute. I don't really use napkin rings around the house too much, but that is interesting. All right, then we got a little old, oh, that is so cute. Vintage Christmas brooch, little mouse in a thimble there. Then we got a clamper bracelet, silver tone, very good condition. We've got more paparazzi. And let's see, I've got a little bag. Just kind of silvery, articulated. They're actually pretty. Paparazzi does make some interesting designs. And, uh, oh my gosh, in time. These have arrived in time for Thursday. I can't believe it. Turkey. They're very lightweight. They're acrylic. They're super cute. <laughs> my daughter would wear those for sure. She would love those. All right, then we got a vintage necklace here. Like this one does look vintage. I like it. I like the festooned design. Black. I'm going to clean that up. Not bad. Not a bad piece. Just love the vintage jewelry. Vintage costume jewelry is so fun, isn't it? All right, then we've got this. This looks like some kind of symbols, some kind of foreign script that I don't understand. Possibly Hindi, I'm not sure. And this is just block turquoise. And by block turquoise, I mean reconstituted turquoise, basically. Resins and everything ground up in a blender and then formed into blocks and you can basically do a lot of different carvings and chopping with it. Well, that's interesting though. It's got a nice little hippie vibe to it. And some of most of this stuff I do not remember. I do remember this bracelet though. I fell in love with this. I love big, chunky, oversized bracelets. And this fits the bill quite nicely. Look at that. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? What are these? Inside little wreaths. Yes, there's a little wear, but who cares? How cute is that? I love that. And these look like little faux ambers. Faceted. This is incredible. I don't think there was a name on it. I don't remember, but I remember she showed it and I fell in love with it. I love big chunky bracelets like this. And no, I don't see any name on it, but I will put it on. Oh my gosh, I love it. Absolutely love this thing. Look at the moon glow here. This one is a glass. These are acrylic. This is so cool. So this is when I started bidding <laughs> When I saw this and a couple of brooches, but mostly this bracelet, oh my gosh, I love it. So, so cute. So, so cute. Adore that. That was worth the entire lot. Then I got a little stretchy with wood and macrame. And 
This is a cute little brooch. I don't think she even showed this one. She said there was a few things at the bottom of the box that she hadn't pulled out. This looks like copper. It's definitely vintage. It's riveted. Sweet little flower. Oh, here's the... It's got a little bit of verdigris that I'll treat. A boxer. Oh, it's so cute. And I believe it's a trafari. And it does have a little, little stain in the back, but I'm going to treat that. Otherwise, it's in great condition. It's very much, very dimensional. I love this very, very much. And yes, this is actually a crown trafari. And there's a trademark there. Oh my gosh, isn't he precious though? Oh my gosh. My grandmother had a boxer named Boxer. <laughs> Why bother, right? Easy to remember, Boxer. His name was Boxer. And I always think about my grandmother when I see a boxer. That's why I had to have it. <laughs> so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it. Love the dog. Stand right there. Cutie. Then this is Rose on a chain here. It's really pretty and heavy though. Pretty. I like the way it dangles like that unexpectedly just from the stem. It's some of these little enameled. Earrings, those are post, and I love these. I love these multi-strand. I fell in love with this one too. I love these multi-strand necklaces. I am looking for one in red. If anyone has one, let me know. I really want one with two strands. They don't necessarily have to be graduated, but I do want it to fit like these 1960s sensational necklaces. I just love them. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Oh, the color is so pretty. These are crystal. They're gold, AB coated. These are acrylic. These are acrylic. They made this so beautiful. Again, my expectations met and exceeded. So fabulous. Great piece. I love this. Absolutely love it. It has an extension. Don't believe it has a maker on it. It is so sweet. Oh my gosh, the color of those glass AB coated. And look, they're like flattened. I don't know what they call that. Almost like a little pill shaped on some of them and some of them are a little bit more round oh i love that so much there was a oh she just threw that in there like that. i don't know if it was chipped it probably was they always are that happens occasionally that's all right i'm not that concerned with this one this was not one that uh i don't think she even showed it but those definitely are very delicate and this one just says made in england I've had a few that even said China and then England and different names. These are beautiful. But again, a, a, just a bit of a chip around there. And not even sure if it's a chip or, or just discoloration. But uh, very cool. Very cool on that. We have some earrings. I'll pair the earrings in just a minute. Looks like there's a few here. So let me put those aside. I think I see a ring. I think she said this one. Oh, yeah. She said it's not sterling. You know, the ones that you see on eBay and Etsy. I even, say, I even saw some of these at an antique store. And they were saying they were sterling on the display. And I was like, no way you can tell from here. But this is a genuine Labrador ring. Still a beautiful ring. I don't know why they have to lie about it being sterling. But my my seller did not. She knew it wasn't sterling, and she said so. See the difference in these Labradorites? This is mine. I love the green as well, and this is more on the blue side. What a beautiful ring. I've never seen such a pretty poison ring. I usually shy away from poison rings because they tend to break, but I couldn't resist this one with the Labradorite. I don't think I've seen one with a Labradorite. That's a beautiful ring, regardless of whether it's silver or not. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, these are pretty. These are post. Those are very nice. They just need a little cleaning. Uh, let me see if they have a name. 
But no, there is no name on these. They look very well made, though. I like these with a little pearl. Very dimensional as well. Nice. I like that. All right, we have a stretchy bracelet with some beads and charms. These seem to be all acrylic. I think that's kind of cute for a child. Okay, what's in the box? Mary. Oh, yes, this one. I remember she showed this one. This one says Mary on it. Still has the price from Kohl's. Looks like silver tone. There it goes. It is was $18, and that was just silver tone. Nice little nameplate, though. All right, we have an old-looking brass. I think it's a locket. Did open. Very flush. Oh, yes, this one did have pictures. We have two gentlemen. Definitely 40s to 50s here with the gentleman wearing a hat. How cool is that? Oh, I love that. I can't quite tell what the design is. Can you? Very interesting. Let me loop it and see. It looks like a, a flower. Some kind of a flower. It's really pretty. Maybe gold filled or something. I don't see any mark on it, but I love that. That is beautiful. A stretch. Yeah, this is a little stretch. Those are really pretty. Butterfly panels there. That's a nice bracelet. Stretch or not, I like it. All right, more earrings. We're putting those aside for a second. Oh my gosh, these are matte. These are very cool. Okay, here they are. Very nice. There is one stone missing there, unfortunately. Maybe it's in the box. I love the design. Look at the dimension on that, the layering on that. That is so pretty. Interesting colors as well. Let's see if we don't see the stone anywhere. These bags were just in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, these are matched too. These look interesting. I was going to say they look like a Sarah Coventry, but let me see what they say. They are marked. I'm not sure what they say. Let me check and see. These say patent pending, and they are Emmons. Emmons. And they still have a little residue probably from a price sticker or something. Look at that, though. They're in great condition. These are very pretty. Very nice Emmons. Very interesting. And there's their hallmark and patent pending as well. Uh, we have a beautiful rose quartz on a nylon. And that's beautiful. Very likely stainless on the bale. I'll probably put that on a silver chain. Like it on the black cord. I just don't like it this long. I'd probably do a short one. A rhinestone chain with some blue stones. These stones appear to be nice, and this appears to be a vintage rhinestone necklace. That's pretty. Very cool. Another earring. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. To ward off the evil eye. The little. Oh, that's beautiful. And it's a wraparound ring. So beautiful. Look at that. In rose gold tone. I don't think it's marked a costume piece, but I love it. I think that's beautiful. There's another oldie. This has a very old looking brass clasp. Don't think it has a name on it. It is acrylic and then it's got this very, very cool tassel. This is, <laughs> look at that. 
You can see the way they made these. These are great for study, if nothing else. Look at this, like threading here. And then they twist them and they topped them with stones. And these are acrylic. They're all acrylic beads. Still a wonderful thing to behold in my hands, honestly, because I've never seen this. And you can see how they're just coiled and coiled. That's quite interesting. Let's see what's in the bag. A chain. And another chain. Oh, it, this is pretty. Look at that. Two tassels. Silver tone. That is very pretty. I like that. Is there anything on the other side? No. It's just a long chain with a long Y design and then some tassels. And that's in great condition. Then here is an interesting brooch caught up in some bag. Oh my goodness. This has some AB coating. Some verdigris I can take care of. And enameling. That is so pretty. I love these old brooches. If nothing but to look at them. Okay. I'm not sure what's in this box. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I remember. These are sterling. This, the findings were sterling on this beautiful thing. I love the box, too. Oh, how pretty is this? I think it's marked sterling. Let me take another look with the loop. No, definitely sterling. Yes, it is marked sterling right here on there. It's on a wire. That's cool. So it is Mark Sterling right there. I hope you can see it because I'm having a really hard time focusing. There it is. And it is on a wire. So the wire should be Sterling as well. Look at the beautiful little drops on the back. What a pretty, pretty necklace. And it looks like it's 15 or 16 inches. That's gorgeous. <laughs> That is so pretty. I'm so excited it's in sterling. I love when I find quote unquote costume jewelry set in sterling, designed with sterling. What a thrill. Love that. Great, great buy. And I don't know if this was the original box, but she said it said sterling silver. Very, very cool. Okay, let me see what's in this bag. Oh, yeah, these are the other ones that got me bidding. The skeletons. Oh, these are gorgeous. My daughters are going to love these. They're going to have to fight for them. Look at that. Isn't that cute? These and the Jack, whomever, whomever, I don't even know. But I know they love this, but I'll fix that. It just broke. It's not a problem. But these are so cool. So cool. So cool. <laughs> Those are awesome. Here's a very interesting bracelet. These appear to be all acrylic. It's a little outstretched though, but what a cute look. Love the beads on here. This needs to be redone because these are beautiful beads. Kind of a faux amber look there and some bone or something. All right, then we got rainbow. And a heart. Pin back. Very cool. Stretch. I have a huge, huge, huge collection. I need to bring them to my next auction and sell them by the pound. <laughs> oh, I love these too. I love these mixed metal ones. Made in India on this one. These polish up very nicely. And they look really cool when they fit me. Sometimes they're big on me. Another stretch, but this one has little charms on it. it. Says friendship, happiness, friendship, happiness all around. Very nice, and it still has a good stretch as well. Here is a shell one, nice and stretchy too. Still taut. Blues, abalone shells. Oh, we have two. All right, one for each side of your suspenders or 
collar or something. Okay, we got two of those. I see a ring and more earrings. Oh, another eye ring. We can pile them on. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. I could put one here. Two eyes. Cute. Very cute. Oh, this ring is so funny. I love this ring, uh, but it doesn't fit me correctly. I'm going to take it off for a minute because it's a little too big on one and too small on the other finger. Did I get two of these? Oh my gosh. She only showed one pair. These are amazing. Okay, so now both daughters, and then there's going to be a third. She's going to be unhappy. <gasps> these are AB coded. Oh my gosh. If there's a third, I'm in heaven. Look at those. Ah, oh. <laughs> those are so cool. Those are awesome. Oh my goodness, those are just too awesome. Wow, here's a pretty one too. This one does not look vintage. It's so funny how you can tell just by the weight. This is the kind of metal that if you bent it, it would literally, it feels like you're, it feels like they're made of aluminum foil compared to the vintage ones that I showed in the, in the beginning. This is weighty and beautiful. This thing probably costs $40 or so at the bridal stores. But it's still nice to have. I like having the pearls and all of that if I ever need to harvest any pearls. But it's interesting to note the difference. This must weigh two grams. Very interesting to see how costume jewelry was so well made. Oh, here's some Napier. Easy comfort clip. Those are nice. Pretty antique gold tone. Stretchy. Stretchy ring. I have a lot of stretchy rings too. I need to bring those to auction. Very nice. Does this match that? No. Oh, I thought it matched that brooch. Look at these beauties. These are twist back. It looks like they are marked. They probably say Germany or something. Let me see what they say. But aren't those gorgeous? Oh my goodness. Made in Austria. Made in Austria is what they say. So they're likely Austrian crystals. That's what they say running across there. How beautiful. This is the way they sit on your ear. Those are gorgeous. Made in Austria. Hallmark made in Austria back there. Oh, I love the color. The gray is so beautifully done. Kind of a, I don't know, like a slate blue or something on the enameling or whatever it's called that they did on that. Very cool. All right, looks like these are matched up too. These are little, no, those are not matched up. I will right, we'll match these up in a minute. These are matched up. These sit like this. They're also twist back. Those are matched. Here are the match on these. We do have one dead rhinestone, but aren't they gorgeous anyway? Really cool. These do not have a mark. And what else? Do we have a match on this? It's so pretty. Oh gosh, these are cool. All right, what's in the... These are empty bags. We have all the empty bags now. Not sure what's in here. Hmm. Avon. 1981. 1981. I wonder what was in here. Maybe some jewelry. What a cute little case. Make a great pillbox. A little beaded necklace multi-strand with silver stations there very cool premier designs wow it's pretty in fuchsia isn't that premier designs on that not bad we have oh my gosh this is so cool harley davidson oh my gosh look at that i'll have to give that to my husband he'll put a bail on it that is so cool, and he loves eagles. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Maybe we have another one. I don't see one right now, but we shall see. These are paired up. These are vintage earrings. 
Oh, I love these. These are those climber type. Look at these. These will sit like this running up your ear. <laughs> those are gorgeous. Look at that. Wow. Is there anything missing? I don't see anything missing. Super cool. I don't see a mark on them, but let me open one up and see if I don't think so. Very nicely made. And we got a pin here. This is M&M's Olympics. Uh, we have a shield. This one, little Christmas kitty. He's cute. No mark on him. <laughs> He's a doll. <gasps> Look how precious. Okay, then those are matched. Those are matched. We saw those. We saw those. Those. This is empty. These were matched as well. Let's see what's in here. <gasps> these are beautiful rhinestones on these. These are matched too. These are twist back. Nothing wrong with these. Look how pretty those are. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Look at that. Just beautiful. There's the back. Well, oh, look at this. A little jade bracelet. Definitely jade. Wow, that's pretty. You can see through that really nicely. Let me loop it. That's a beautiful one. Oh, my goodness. Looks like jade to me. Imitation jade, possibly. Possibly real jade. There it is there. Okay, then we have this chain. This is pretty. This looks like a Monet or something. No, there's no maker on it. Very sparkly, very nice. The chain is very sparkly too. Look at that. I think the box is empty, so I'm gonna get it out of the way. Did we get two of the earrings? For yes. Okay, so Robert's gonna have to make them into earrings so I can sell them. <laughs> These look like pewter. Not sure what they are. Uh, these are very valuable right now. Harley Davidson is no longer granting licensing for their jewelry as they once did. And so they're, it's becoming very rare for jewelry. I don't know if they've already had another design house out there, but uh, these are cool. Very cool. All they need is a hook. Nice to have those matched. And then we got the matching on these two pink ones. All of these are screw back, twist back. These almost look like sterling. Let me take a look at them. Nope. Silver tone. Very pretty color though. I love that pink. It's nice. Very nice. So little hooks with keys and roses and pearl and these are pretty boy talk about a wonderful collection of rhinestones in here look how pretty these are these are nice they're articulated they are really pretty. There might be a little bit of a dead stone there, but I love the baguettes at the top. Those are fabulous. Did I show you these? We have these round ones too. Lots of rhinestone twist back. We got these matched too. Very vintage. Clip on those. Those are clips. These are really nice. The metal is really nice and still intact, not worn. Very cool. And your ear would show in that negative space there. Very pretty. Two shades of blue there. Match to that one. Yeah, oh, here it is. Okay, so I got some Mille, Mille Fiori. So these are Mille Fiori. Beautiful colors on that. We got those matched. All of them were matched. So wonderful. Wonderful. These are beautiful too. Wow, that's a lot of earrings. Got another couple of brooches. Beautiful little dogs here. 
I think they are two Scotty dogs. No maker on them, a gold and silvery blackened tone there. More earrings here. All of them twist back, so interesting. These can all be converted as well. Some people convert them with these converters you can get on Amazon. But there they are there. Those are also matched. This one says SUPT Missouri State Fair, 1955. Hmm. 100 Club, bowling, and another brooch here. Oh, this one's cute. I think this is a JJ, and it has three cats having at it on the, on the bowl. Uh, this is actually, no, it's not a JJ. It says LIA. Leah. Might be a Leah Sophia. Not sure. That's a cute, cute brooch. There we go. That is so pretty. And another beautiful little brooch. This is, I believe, a schnauzer. I'm not sure. Green eyed schnauzer, possibly. And I think this is, to me, it looks like a Jerry's, but I don't know. Let me, let me read the back of it. Yes, I can tell Jerry's now. <laughs> That's very interesting to me that you hold so much jewelry. Eventually you start knowing what uh, certain brands feel like and look like and their gold color and everything. But there it is there. Then we got that beautiful Trafari boxer and all those beautiful earrings. A poison ring. Fabulous, fabulous earrings. I love those. So, oh my gosh, isn't that amazing? I love this 50s one too. This bracelet is to die for. I absolutely adore it. Let me put it here. Oh gosh, I just love that. I just love that. That'll make a good thumbnail. <laughs> Napier too. This was a great, great box of stuff. I just love it. Absolutely love it. Thank you so much. I don't recall the lady's name who sold it to me, but it was in a YouTube auction. Fantastic. And uh, she used to do videos, so I'm not too concerned about it because she's no longer doing videos. She's, uh, did we get a spare on this one? I'm not sure. This one's beautiful. I'll look for the match. I, if it is, it's the only one that didn't match. So it might just be in here and I, I missed it. But anyway, that is just fantastic. Oh, and I love these little rings too. These are beautiful. You could put them together or right next to each other or something. Very cool. Another pair. Oh my gosh, look at these. Do these say anything? No. These are in gold tone. They're blue. These just popped out. So along with some of the mediocre stuff, boy, did we get some really nice vintage stuff. I am so impressed. Let's know that it was a great buy. I only paid $50 for the entire lot shipped. And I even got some cool girl glasses. Look at this. Love those. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Don't forget to subscribe. Please come back for the next video. Please consider supporting the channel with your membership. There are perks involved. Hit the thumbs up on your way out. And of course, if you ever see anything in the hall that piques your interest, don't hesitate to email me. All the information in the description box. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.